In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to stop the run in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you improve your game in Madden NFL 21 through tips, through tricks, through film study breakdowns of professional players, uh, and a lot more content. If that's something that interests you, if you want to take your game to the next level this year, what I want to encourage you to do right now is I want you to jump into my Discord. My Discord link is in the description of this video. You can just click that. Discord is kind of like a community. It's kind of like a hub where we're able to ask questions. Um, you're able to get PS4, Xbox One, PC, lab partners. Um, you're able to just get a ton of information in that uh, forum. And it's just a great place to build a community. And so if you are interested in being a part of that, just go ahead down in the description below. There, there's going to be a link that's us join discord here click that link and that will uh, help you get set up now what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go over one of the better run in my opinion one of the better run schemes in men 21 which is the iform tight the toss week is probably one of the better runs this year right out of the right out of the gate so three four bear and the play that you're going to come out in um and it, it can vary right it can vary but what we're going to do is we're going to set our audibles we're going to set buck strong safety three we're going to set pinch dog three as another one and then the play that we can come out in is pinch buck O if we want um for pass defense but for run defense what we're going to do is we're just going to come out in the play uh cover two invert or pinch dog three cover two inverts my my uh is a little bit of a safer option okay so cover two invert all you're going to do is you are going to blitz hitchens and QB contain and then you're going to press or I'm sorry baseline and press so that Thornhill goes over here to the left side you're going to put him on a quarterback spy now make sure on your outside guys that you put them in outside quarters okay if you don't put them outside quarters um, it's it's not gonna be good for you and then what I'm gonna show you here really quickly is the the best run in the game, in my opinion, is Toss Week. So you'll see here, right after the get, you'll see that those purple zones will get that outside wide contained just like that. And that blitzing linebacker is going to come through the gap. The, the quarter on the outside is going to take that away. We'll show you this instant replay really quick. So you'll see right here, you know, basically this is 3-4 Bear. And like I said, I think 3-4 Bear is still going to be one of the better defenses in the game. But essentially what happens is that blitzing linebacker is coming right through this gap. Now it's going to basically keep the fullback from, he's going to have to choose one of these two guys, right? If he, if he doesn't, if he, his probably best choice would be to take that outside in. But you see here, that corner is out there and you basically have run support without even having to use it. So you've locked up the toss with just one simple run defense. Okay, now let me show you, um, again, we're going to baseline press, and then you want to make sure to use our honey, honey badger, and you want to put him right in this little right in this little crease here, right? That's actually really, really important. Hot blitz the, uh, this guy right here, Hitchens, QB contain, and then you're going to spy um, your safety. Now I'm going to show you um, toss right. So toss right's a little bit more your your game, and you're going to try to get out there and make a play with your user, snap of the ball, and I'm just trying to keep that contained outside. And as you can see, if he cuts it back up, he's going to the run is going to funnel back to that quarterback spy. We'll show you that in instant replay here really quickly. So you see, we get the toss outside weak. Now right here, I've got to make a decision, right? Do I do I try to take away inside or outside? Well, if you look right over here, I've got my safety coming down. I've got my safety right here. So he's flowing to the play because he's in a quarterback spy. And then you're able to keep that outside contained. Very, very simple. And again, the toss left and right to me is the hardest to stop. Um, all right. So same setup. Baseline press out of cover two invert. You're going to blitz Hitchens. And then you're going to QB contain. And you're going to bring Honey Badger right in here. And make sure to spy that safety over the top. In my opinion, that's really, really important. And you're going to see, I'm going to try to run an HB ISO. So snap the ball. I'm just going to fill the lane with Honey Badger. And as you can see, it's very, very simple, very, very easy to run right through the gap with the uh, safety. So that's ISO left. Let me show you ISO right here. So if I go ISO and I flip it to the run to the right, snap of the ball. And you see how the, see how the, the defensive tackles kind of shoot in, kind of fill the lanes. That's that's because you've moved manually, because you've manually moved in your linebackers like you have. That's what's going to allow that. So again, you're oftentimes going to get that shoot, especially if you stand kind of like right in between the center guard 
with your user. That's going to help a lot with your inside run defense. Snap of the ball here again. And now you'll see again the ISOs having the most success. We're being pretty aggressive with honey with the uh, safety there, but no issues there with the ISO. Now uh, I'm going to show you. Um, we'll show you the blast, which to me is one of the better runs as well. But we'll show you. We'll show you everything here. So. Um, the HP blast left, so it's inside zone left, and as you can see here, it just gets muddied up. Just not really anywhere to run, not really anything they can do uh, about it. That run is locked up, and I mean that run doesn't really even stand a chance, especially because you get that blitzing linebacker on that right side. It's going to be a little bit better to the right, and I'll show that to you right now. But again, my job is to keep that wide contained because again, if I don't keep wide contained, this safety being on a spy is pointless. I want to make sure that I have a purpose for that. So now I'm going to go HB blast and I'm going to go to the right snap of the ball here. And I'm just going to cut, force him to come back into the safety, force him to come back into the safety right there. Actually it was a good cut back by the back, but we're still able to hold it to a, a pretty reasonable gain. And then power O. Now, power runs are a little bit better than uh, zone runs this year, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. You don't want that to happen. You want to keep him back because you want him to shoot in basically off of it. So now if they run power, oh, snap of the ball. Again, I'm wide contained. That's my job. He got a little bit there on me. But um, overall, you know, we're, we're just fine. And again, this very simple run defense. Now, what you can also do out of this to make this just a little bit better, I did I did want to mention this to you. If you if you have time, you can zone Neiman, put him in like a little cloud flat or curl flat zone. You want him in a purple zone. And then you can hot blitz Daniel off the edge. And if you do that and put them both on QB contains, it's going to help your outside contain on both sides. So when they try to run like stretch or something, now you see I've got a guy out there. And we end up we end up giving up a little bit there. I got to get a little bit wider early, but um, but you'll see. Cover two invert. And get my setup in. So this is what it should look like right here. And again, you want to stand kind of in these in these gaps here with with the with the safety. But snap of the ball, he's gonna go stretch. There we get that wide side contain. And we're able to force that back inside for just a short gain. And I'm telling you guys, this run defense works a little bit better once you actually get into a head-to-head -head match. But stretch is probably the toughest to stop. Again, uh, stretch, toss, weak. Those are all tough runs. But we'll show you it to the left. So here it is to the left side. That's kind of the weaker side, but you see this blitzing linebacker is going to shoot in and then force it. And then if you can get out there with your user and your corner, you're going to be able to lock that run up fairly easily in the backfield. So that is the stretch left, right, power left, power right, um, toss left. That's how you stop the toss. Um, if you're playing Madden 21 early, what you're going to see is a lot of people are going to have success with the toss uh, early on this year because the toss run just does a little bit better of a job at getting the getting the pulling guard the power blocking i didn't show power o left let me show that real quick but here's power o left as you can see here again you just force it with your user and you're going to be able to get there and stop the run so that is how to stop the run in madden 21 if you're facing um, some of those really good running schemes three four bear does a good job against it just like last year but anyways guys that's how to stop the run in madden 21 if you have any questions you can always text me my cell phone number is 812-216-3644 and do me a favor if you guys really want to take your game to the next level it would mean the world to me if you picked up my madden 21 competitive bundle guide it is in the description of this video below you can just say it says madden 21 competitive bundle and it says click here you can click that link it's going to take you to the checkout and you can pick that up also, guys, there's some more videos that are going to come onto your screen right now to help you get better at Madden, so you can check one of those out. And we will see you tonight on our live stream at 10 o'clock Eastern Time right here on my YouTube channel.